Hello! Hi Bug, how are you doing today? We're back with some more Pokemon Heart Gold today. We are going to be continuing where we left off yesterday. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we got our first gym badge yesterday, so we're heading towards Azalea Town. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I spelled Azalea Town right. I just realised I didn't spell check myself uh, for my uh, tweet <laughs> and my uh, notification on. It's all good. I spelled Azalea right. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, we will be heading through Union Cave today and uh, making our way through to our second gym badge. Um, so we've got that to look forward to. I'm going to stop this music. We're going to get the game audio in here. Uh, maybe. There we go. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's get into the game. One moment. There we go. Perfect. Cool. So yes, so our team at the moment is literally just Bayleaf. And it will be for a little bit longer, because uh, we won't be getting our next uh, member of our team until we get to Goldenrod City. Um, so, yeah. So, oh yeah, our team is full of eggs. Waiting for some to hatch. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got Bayleaf here, who... Um, I got a really good nature for actually. I didn't even realise, I didn't even look at this, but Bayleaf's nature is excellent. <laughs> Apart from the fact that I've got physical moves at the moment, but we'll get we'll get special moves eventually. Okay. So we have cleared out Route 32 already. It is literally just a case of going into the uh, into the cave here. One thing I don't have many of is um, Pokeballs. Um, so, yeah, we possibly won't be catching all the Pokemon in this area just yet. Just for the uh, fact that I think I only have a couple of Great Balls and that's about it. Because I use them all on unknowns. But it's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Bit unfortunate that our first fight is against a fire breather. Hopefully he doesn't actually have any fire type Pokemon. They don't always do okay he does. Sometimes they have um topping. But this one this one does actually have a fire type Pokemon. Luckily Bayleaf is level 20 already, so <laughs> it's not gonna be that hard for uh, us to get through even against fire types. to mentally recover. <laughs> Watching long movies can be tiring, which is weird. But I do understand. Managed to sketch out a dozen emotes during it at least. Wow, that's impressive. I didn't mean to talk to you, Bailey, sorry. Looking for something apparently. There's nothing down here, Bayleaf. Our first Pokemon in the cave is a Sunshrew. Let's see if we can catch it without killing it here. Okay. See what kind of Pokeballs situation we're at. Okay, I have I have got a few balls. I don't want to use my lure balls on these Pokemon though. There's no point. I'm actually gonna save my lure balls for um the Jin Chow that we'll be catching later on. Because I'm gonna need to fish it. So it'd be cool to uh, catch it in a lure ball. Have we caught the sand through? Oh, 
Okay, this this will be a lot easier for us to take on. Okay, never mind. Not if we miss. <laughs> you can raise your, raise your defenses all you like, Connix. You're going to die to this Razor Leaf. I'm nine levels above you, and this is four times effective. And stab. That's a good lot of experience from that uh, Onyx there. 379 experience. Easy training. Bayleaf's going to be a Meganium before the third gym at this rate. You have a level 4 Geo, dude. What? Why are we fighting a level 4 right now? <laughs> yes, I would have surpassed the level limit ages ago. I'm not... I say this every time, to be fair. I'm not playing this game for difficulty, though. So, that's why I don't care that I'm level 21 before the second gym. It's a long game. And my challenge comes at the end. When I try and catch all the Pokemon. So, the fact that I'm level 21 before the second gym is actually a good thing. Because it'll make things go quicker. Which is why I have the Lucky Egg in this game. It's so that I can make it go quicker. <laughs> the quicker I can level up, the easier the fights get, so the quicker I can get through the game. Simple as that. In the wall, between two rocks, southeast of High Castle. I assume that means here. Mm -hmm. You're going to the dealership tomorrow. Nice. So you actually buying it tomorrow then? See that this is the fire breather with toppings. Yep, should be. Trade in the old one, buy the new one. Nice. Every time I get attacked by a move that can poison, it will poison me. It's practically new, so you're not super wor worried about it. Yeah, that's good. Take it to your mechanic sometime after you get it. After to get a tune up and such if we need it. Have him give it a look over. He's a good guy, so he'll be honest with you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I've gained a couple of great balls in here actually, so it's going well. I have a guide telling me where all these hidden items are, but I actually already know where they all are anyway. Well, at the moment I know where they all are anyway. He actually knows that. I haven't done that in a little while. Oh man. Magical, yes, I'll take that. I'm a special attacker, not a physical attacker. 
and it's 100% accurate. Well, not 100% accurate. It never misses. It's great. I always, I used to anyway, always used to go down the left side there because I always thought the item was the other side of the rock. I don't know whether it is in the old games or if it's moved over to this side in this game, but I always go to the other side and go, oh no, it's on the, it's on the side I need to go, not the, not the wrong way. Okay, we're out and we're in the rain. guy who gives us like, his phone number. I think this guy does rematches, if I remember correctly. Because not all of them do rematches, some of them give you items, and some of them just talk, but I think Anthony is one of the ones that has rematches. Nice and easy. Yeah, here you go. Oh no, wait, maybe he does just do information. Never mind. Maybe he just talks. Who are you? You don't know us. We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once. But we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and get just beat it. Thud. <laughs> Poor man. That wasn't very nice. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there. So I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. I'm not a... Am I not a good Samaritan? No. You're a Team Rocket member. <laughs> Heal up. Okay, I'm just going to pop into the Pokemart so that we can uh, pick up some more Pokeballs. Oh, what Pokeballs do you sell? Or what, what items do you sell, sorry. Uh, we have some the ability to get some netballs now as well. Fair enough. I don't really have the money to like do that just yet though. Do we have anything we can sell? A tiny mushroom. Oops, no, I don't want to sell that. Um, no, not really. Got these. We can sell these. I wonder if I can buy great balls yet. No. Okay. I'll probably buy... Let's buy 20... 20 Pokeballs, that should be fine. Because I reckon we'll probably buy great balls when we get to um, Golden Rod. 15 is fine. Okay, we can't actually buy many super potions. Let's just buy four. Get to five super potions. And so we have two. Oops. Paralyze here, we have four. Awakening, we have one. So let's get another one. I just want to have two of each, at least. Perfect. I've used up pretty much all my money there. Ralph's calling. Sup? So. <laughs> uh, 
Spending more time with Goldie than his kids? Oh dear. Okay, I kind of want to talk to this guy because this is the guy that just got studded. We have this tough guy called Kurt in this town. He should be able to take care of it. Wait. Uh... Thank you. Let's go find Kurt then. And grab this apricorn as well. <laughs> crashed into his wall. Mm hmm? Who are you? I don't know. You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, <laughs> don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're all... They're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Curtis on his way. You know, you scooted up your PC to give more space, and yet all you've done is fill the space with more garbage. Oh dear. No, I haven't heard from the monitor people yet. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, my eggs are hatching. <laughs> so what's going on? I don't remember being stopped here before. <laughs> Okay, which one hatched? Togepi hatched. That was the last one I got. <laughs> Togepi hatched before the other ones. Do I have any pose ideas for lamps? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Serene Grace, does it always have Serene Grace? Okay. How are the other eggs doing? Are the other eggs like close to hatching or anything? Yeah, maybe close, maybe close, maybe close. Okay, I reckon all three of those will hatch roughly at the same time. Okay, look at what you sent me on. Village load. Professor Elm is cool. Oh yeah, right, that's right. just saw the uh okay hmm uh, i knew that giving that egg to you adam was the right thing to do i just knew it you should come here and show me what kind of pokemon it is not yet not yet oak oak Oh, he only gives you a um, an Everstone anyway. Okay, let's have a look at these quickly. I'm thinking maybe the the middle one of the second picture you sent, so the one where he's holding the sword on his shoulder, or the very bottom one, like the, the last picture. That's pretty cool. Hey there, Adam. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed hard on my back, so I can't move. Rats. If I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, it can't be helped. Adam, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Maybe a combo? Stood like the last picture and sword over the shoulder. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the sound of that. And top left of the puddle where I've cooked Kurt's stuff. Where? What? what? He needs to move. <laughs> oh, this is the guy that was standing up top. Ah. It's 
That's a crit. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't need a crit there, really. It's not my day. Poor Grunt. I always thought that um, when playing through gold and silver, well, silver specifically, this this trainer here was Jesse, and the next one was James, because I'm pretty sure she has an Ekans here as her second Pokemon. Yeah, she has an Ekans, and in the in gold and silver, she has long hair, long like reddish purpley hair, like Jesse's. And then, like I said, the next guy had a coughing. Or has a coughing. Didn't need a crit. <laughs> Oops. That's the point. I want Team Rocket to be ruined. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. Do you have a coughing in the originals? No, he didn't. I don't know why I thought he had a cough. Oh, there is a guy with coughing in. But it's the main guy who's been replaced by Proton in this one. Who does actually have a coughing still as well. But he wasn't he wasn't known as the Proton in the uh, original, he was just a grunt. Because they didn't have the um well they did have the executives, but not not to the extent that they do in this game. So they were still grunts, they just looked different. But even the grunt even that grunt in here is just a normal grunt. In the originals. I can't believe this Zubat is like actually almost defeating me. Too bad I've got synthesis. <laughs> Get my health back. Now, if I could be like snapped out of confusion, thank you. This one has mail. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. Wait, do they all have mail? No, just that one. I thought there was one that had mail. Here we go. Let's fight Proton. What do we have here? Am I... 
I am often labelled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. What I really like about the Let's Go game, as in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, is they actually added in Archer, who is one of the executives in this game. I think that was really cool. Which it's kind of almost a hint at a Let's Go Johto, or whatever they want to call it. Because they've already got one of the characters here in the in the other games. There's that coughing I was talking about though. It doesn't matter where we go, there's always someone who doesn't agree with us. That's right, Proton. No, oh, Bayleaf, please. Hey, for once I didn't get poisoned. And that was a, a, a move that always poisons. Unless it misses, of course. Bayleaf, please. I've hit myself every turn. Finally. I barely did any damage, though. You know what I was just saying about the uh, not hearing about my monitor? Well, they haven't replied to my email, but it's been shipped. <laughs> so it'll either be here tomorrow or Friday. Because it says... I assume. I assume Express 24 service means like next day delivery, but obviously it's been dispatched like really late, so probably Friday. Also, my bee leaf's about to die. I can't know. <clears throat> I would use. I would use synthesis, but I'm scared that I'll hit myself in confusion. I don't know whether I can, but I'm kind of scared. I'm probably at that point where I'll, like, come out of confusion, but I'd rather play it safe. I just survived on one HP there as well. Oh, I'm not confused. Oh. Never mind. Oop, I forgot to read what he said. Let's see if I can get it. Grr. For the kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. I think that's what he said. <laughs> Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you be very afraid of what is to come. No, I won't be. Way to go, Adam. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. Was his back really hurt, or did he just want me to do it all? Hi Adam, you handled yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Now that they now that they have come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Adam. This is all I have now, but take it. A fastball. You have Apricons for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. Okay, um, let's do the green ones. I always like to do the ones I have the most of, because we might as well. It'll take a day to make uh, you a Pokeball. Come back later for it. That's right, I'll give you my grandpa's number. Yeah, okay. My grandpa can tell you more about Apricorns. I don't want to, thanks. Goodbye. We'll, we'll come back in a day to pick up our Pokeballs, maybe. <laughs> if I remember. I always forget. I give them Apricorns to make Pokeballs and then I always never like I never come back for like ages. Because <laughs> it's not easy coming back to Azalea Town. Unless you have fly. And I don't have fly, and you don't get fly for a while. So 
Yeah, he often has my Pokeballs for a while before I pick them up. Okay, we can take on the gym next. It's our uh, next place for us to go. Okay. Yo, Challenger. Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of bug-type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of bug-type Pokemon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug-type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying-type moves are super effective too. Yeah, I have neither of those, and I'm weak to bug. <laughs> okay, which one do I need to go into? This one. Okay, let's Level 24. I'm not sure what level Bugsy, like, I don't, I'm not sure what level the um, gym leaders are in this game. Because um, I, all I know is that increased a bit from uh, gold and silver. Hey, I wasn't actually poisoned that time. What a surprise. So I think he'll probably be like level 18 or something like that. Because he's normally level 16 as his Scyther. I could look it up, to be fair, because it's not like I'm doing this for a challenge. Level 17. So it's only increased by one level in this game uh, from the originals. Okay, which way do I actually need to go? This one. That wasn't even a crit? Okay. Oh, he has the full evolution line. Okay, can you stop now? Five times. Actually hit me five times. See if he hits me five times again. No, only two that time. That's fine. That's better. Josh has got a power us. Oh, he missed. Ha, huh, he missed.
What a baby. So close to level 25. Oh, I just realised I've got a double battle, I think. Poor Rasta. I wonder what happens if you only have one Pokemon coming in here. Do they just not fight you? Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Focus on the rat attack. Poor little rat attack. Let's make the spinner a one shot. Level 25 for Bailey. <laughs> Rattata is getting levels because of this. Learn quick attack, nice. No. Little Nightmares 2 comes out tomorrow? Nice. Are you going to be playing it tomorrow then? But you were, oh yeah. Maybe in the evening. Fair enough. That fight went better than I expected. I didn't think that Rattata was actually going to survive that, to be honest. Them Bugsy, bring it on. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug type Pokemon. Sorry, excuse me. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Bring it on, Bugsy. Wait, what? He leads with. Since when does he ever lead with Scyther? I'm so confused. He doesn't normally lead with Scyther. Well, better poison it. Or not. I guess we could miss. That's fine. How much does that do? Oh no. Oh no. I wish I'd poisoned it. Now I can't poison this. That does a lot of damage. Like, for me being, what, eight levels ahead, of, like, above it, it still did, oh, like, half my health. Over half my health, probably. And, of course, I get poisoned. Okay, let's get, let's try and get rid of this Kakuna first. Because that way I've, I've just got a Metapod and Scyther to deal with. I can cure my poison and I won't get poisoned again. Oh, 
And I'm hoping he's going to send out the Metapod next, but he'll probably send out Scyther and U-turn again. Also, this Kakuna only has Poison Sting. Well, I didn't mean to use Magical Leaf. That's annoying. Okay, at least we still took it out. Okay, what's he going for? Okay, this is the Cypher. See if I can poison it. Okay, good. We got the poison on it. We're, we're good on that front. U turn. Should survive. Seriously. I'm gonna die to poison. I almost healed my poison before taking out the Kakuna, but then I was like, nah. What, I, what if the Kakuna then just poisons me straight away? That was a waste. Huh. Luckily, oh, that's not what I wanted. Luckily, I have this Max Robot, so we can just bring Bayleaf back. But it's annoying. It's annoying that Bayleaf had to go down there. Thanks, Rattata. Welcome back, Bayleaf. Yeah, we can poison this Metapod as well. It's not a poison type. Really? I missed? Oh, well, that's pointless. I'm not going to do that again, then. I'm not going to waste my time with that. Even though it's my last Pokemon, bug Pokemon are tough. If you say so. This is gonna... Uh, I don't like this. I'm gonna have to use a lot of healing here. Is he actually just gonna go for you turn over and over? Because if so, I'm just gonna have to heal still. At least I've poisoned him, so I can just keep healing him. Since when were you faster than me? We're speed tied as well, that's like really annoying. He's and he's got a citrus berry. So when he gets down to half health, he's gonna heal. At least he only has one at least he can only do that once. does you turn have? 20, okay. We, we're not going to stall him out of it. Okay, let me let me see if I can do some damage to him in this turn. Hang in there, just a little more. I mean, you are close to beating me. If I didn't have like a load of potions and stuff, you would defeat me. But I am also using a, one Pokemon that is weak to your Pokemon, so... I have made it hard on myself here. <laughs> I said I wasn't doing this for a challenge, but this is definitely a challenge right now. Oh, he didn't go for a uh, U-turn. Magical is my... I mean, I can't be mad because it's what I'm doing right now, but it is just annoying. 
when the AI does it back to you. Oh, we're close. We're getting there. Oh, it didn't go for your turn. How oh, nice. Just trying to get the crit, though. Too bad. Get out of here. A lot of experience. What does natural gift do again? User draws power to attack by using its held berry, but the berry stems to the top of that. No thanks. I don't have enough berries for that. I have one orange berry and I need it. Ah, that's the end of it. It is. Wow, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. You're the Hive badge. Do you know the benefits of the Hive badge? Not really. If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. U-turn. TM89 contains U-turn. Let's your Pokemon attack, then switch with the next Pokemon in your party. Wait, that's not how it works. I thought you... Do you not get to choose which Pokemon comes out? Isn't that great? I thought, yeah, I thought you got to choose. Unless that's what he means by next Pokemon is. The next one you choose. Heal up, and then we can head into the Ilix Forest. Well, via something else first, I guess. I'm also going to save here as well. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. Bring it on, Silver. With his Ghastly. It's kind of annoying. I don't really have anything to, that we can do to this Ghastly. Um, guess we'll just have to Magical Leap it. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. I guess I am like double its level almost. Don't worry, I wasn't trying to escape anyway. This is my only Pokemon that's going to be able to do anything to you.
Hold on, Bailey. Had to turn the heating on. Is it cold? It's cold here. It's been snowing again today. Say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. You challenged me, okay? Oh. That didn't do much. Too fat. It didn't snow a lot. It's minus six. It's minus three for us. Um, it snowed more on on Monday, my birthday. I, we had a lot of snow on Monday. And it just it hasn't gone. It's still here. It's not even like frozen snow either. It's it's stayed powdery, which is unusual. That's ridiculous. There's no way I could lose to a wimp like you. I already beat you once before. Bottom Bailey. That's well done. Hmm. Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You won only because my... Because my... Pokemon were weak. How rude. This poor Pokemon. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers, doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. They think they are big and tough, as long as they are in a group. But get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception. If you get in my way... I just... I just beat you. <laughs> you can't beat me. Okay, now we can get into the Ilex Forest. I like the little, like, screens you get when you enter different areas. I think it's cool. This is our first Zubat that we've seen. Oh. oh. I accidentally killed it. <laughs> oh man. My boss is going to uh, go going to be angry. The far fetched that cut trees for Chaco took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Far fetched have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up behind them and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Easy. One moment. There's a wild Pokemon here. It's Nordish. Okay, I guess we'll just have to throw Pokeballs because Bayleaf's got too strong. <laughs> cool. Fetch noticed you. It seems to face the direction of the noise when you step on a branch. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. This is so much easier in this game. You snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Wow, you found a far-fetched? Thank you. But there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way, remember? That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. I, I know, we literally just did it. <laughs>
I remember what I'm doing. Grab this tiny mushroom on the way past as well. And get faced by a wild Pokemon. <laughs> Got it. Wow, you got me both of them. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. Ah, my farm and fetched. You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how do I thank you? I know. Here, take this. Got cut. That's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Mm hmm. Don't worry, I got that. Rastatar's gonna be my HM slave for a bit. Okay, we're just going to go back to Azalea Town first, though, because if we actually go visit them in the in their house place of work thing, um, we can actually grab a char an actual charcoal from them. And it's a lot cheaper than buying the charcoal, because you can buy the charcoal here, but it's 9,800 Poké Dollars, when you can literally just get one for free right here. Wait, do you talk to him or do you talk to the... talk to this guy? Okay, back into Azalea. Uh, no, back into Ilex Forest. Now we can properly make our way through. Ilex Forest Shrine. It's a tribute to the forest's protector. Celebi. Wait, it says southwest corner of the lake. Hi, Joey. Or a wild rasta. Wow. Well, okay. Bye. It says by the southwest corner of the pond. Oh, there it is. Not exactly in the southwest southwest corner, I guess. Okay. Try again at catching this Zuba. Cool. And get behind that tree. Another wild Pokemon. Are we going to see anything new? Or is it. Oh, a Paris. Yes, that is new. We can catch that.
I'm going to teach Meganium, not Meganium, sorry, Bayleaf Headbutt from the uh, Move Tutor guy. Because it'll be better to have Headbutt than Tackle. Potion. Okay, we'll ignore her for now. We'll come back. We'll see her later. all these items it's much it's much better getting these items in a uh, randomized version though because it could be anything it's great <laughs> what am i doing i'm shaking trees using headbutt it's fun here try it with your pokemon too which pokemon should learn it can you actually teach this to multiple pokemon or can you only teach it once i can't remember how much does Headbutt do? 70. <laughs> Way better than Tackle. Double Tackle. But yeah, I have a feeling he only teaches it once. There. How do you like it? Your bay leaf, your bay leaf looks stronger. Oh yeah, you can just teach it over and over. Okay, cool. Good to know. And I, I'm pretty sure in the originals, he, can, he only teaches it once. And that's it. Done. I'm glad they changed that. Because I'm almost definitely going to overwrite Headbutt at some point. Kimono girl, kimono girl, lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark, Alex Forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway. Will you show me th how to get out of this forest? Yes. You will? Aren't you lost in this forest as well? No, not really. It's not exactly hard to get through. How do you know how to get out of here? You just follow the path? Obviously. Wow. Are you going to show me how to get out? You are such a smart Pokemon. See you. Okay. Thanks, Bayleaf. I always really like the Geisha? Is that how you say that? I don't know what that word is. Where's his eye? Geisha, okay. Oops, no, I didn't want to headbutt it. It says south southeast of the sec oh second move. Never mind. This bit. There it is. I can't read apparently. What's a uh, what's a geisha? Anyway. There is an item here though. There we go. I think we got them now. Oh no wait, we don't. There we go, now we've got all the items. They're entertainers wearing intricate kimono, uh, kimonos and face makeup. Usually have their hair tied up as well. 
they entertain through music, dance, singing, and conversation. Cool. Fair enough. New route. Also, I don't think I'm going to have much trouble with uh, Whitney and her milk tank in this playthrough. Because uh, my baby leaf is so strong. The kimono girls in this seem to be at least inspired by them, if not based on them. <laughs> I guess so. We can, we will, well, we will be picking up the next Pokemon for our team very shortly. Oh no, we won't. I just remembered. We can't get it yet. I mean, that means I've got my Pokemon in the wrong order. I just remembered. Kind of annoying. I'll swap. I'll swap. I'll, whoops! I didn't mean to use that move. I'll swap them out. Uh, swap them around in a minute. To be fair, I can't remember what days we can do the uh, bug catching contest. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, okay. So we'll have to do the bug catching contest tomorrow anyway. But um, yeah, we need to get a cypher from the bug catching contest. Because I'm having a cypher on my team. It will be a sizzle, but not yet. My mom's calling me. Hey look, I didn't ignore her this time. Another phone number. Oh, the, he actually does fight. We do get a rematch with this guy. No. There's a hidden item in one of these trees. There's a wild Pokemon here as well.
and her. <laughs> there it is. She has good eyesight. I think she has a Bulbasaur. I think this is the Bulbasaur trainer. She also calls for rematches as well. Does have a ball or something? Went down very easily. Oh, never mind. She does items, not rematch. I knew she did something, but yeah, she uh, she gives you items. Grandpa. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit too. Hi, Adam. Let me introduce you. This is Adam. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Adam. Grandma, let me introduce my friend. This is Adam. <laughs> this is your boyfriend? I see. Hmm. What? Grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. <laughs> I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent. Right, Adam? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, this is my Pokegear number. You know you can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. They do all sorts of cute stuff on the uh, road in, and in towns. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some, some of them with you. Grandma, don't you say anything. We are both trainers. We are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Well, okay. I have an idea. I'll give you our numbers. Then you can check on the Pokemon you, we raised for you. I, mm, I haven't put anyone in there, but okay. Call us from time to time when you give us your Pokemon to raise. I'll be happy to... I will be happy to have a use for this Poke here my grandchild gave me. I like how it like defaults to grandchild so they didn't have to program like whether it was a, a male or female. <laughs> What's with you? What are you doing? That's fun. I'm trying to talk to you. Do the policemen all have growl? Yeah. Level 17? Wow, we had a bit of a jump up. The advantage of playing at night is that you actually can fight the uh, the policemen. Because during the day they don't fight. So I get some extra extra battles in because I'm playing at night. Let's fight Todd. Good 
with his Psyduck. Goldenrod City now. We made it. <laughs> We're gonna probably be able to take on the uh, third gym today as well. Um, I was planning on getting Scyther next, but it's not a Thursday, so I can't get Scyther yet. So we'll probably take on the gym, and we'll, we'll do the first three gyms with only one Pokemon. But before we do, there are a few things to. To do around Goldenrod City. Um, first of which is go grab my bike. Well, sort of. There is a super potion down there somewhere. Perks. <sighs> I opened a, a branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yes. Great. Really great. I said that in the wrong way. Give me your name and phone number and I'll loan you a bike. Okay. Bye. We can speed things up now. Whee! Okay. Oops. Next up, the radio tower. Hi, I'm Buena? 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 Do you know about the radio show called Buena's Password? If you can tell me the password from the program, you will earn points. Save up those points and trade them with th that sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. Here you go. It's your very own point card. I can't remember what things you can actually get with the point cards. Let's see if it tells me. It doesn't seem to tell you. Certainly not here anyway. Ah, here we go. So you can get a Pokeball, Full Restore, Protein, Iron, Carvos, Nugget, Rare Candy, or HP Ups, depending on how many points you have. But it's hard, like, you don't get points very quickly. It's, like, not that helpful. Okay, we'll get the map card, uh, the radio card, sorry. We have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in a row to win a radio card. When you load it into the Pokegear, you will be able to listen to the radio. Anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try our quiz? Mm-hmm. The first question. Can you check the town map with your Pokegear? Yes. You are correct. The second question. Nidorina can only be female. True. That is true. You are correct. The third question. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. No. The apricorns. You are correct again. The fourth question. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True? That is true. Wow. I have only one more question to go. In Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Mary? Yes. But also no. It's not spelled like that. Bingo. You got it. Congratulations. Here's your prize. A radio card. Adam can now listen to the radio with the Poke Gear. Go me. Wow, you did it! I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, it's time to get back go back to the gym. See you in a bit, Whitney. Let's do the lottery thing as well. See if we can get something.
Wait, didn't... Oh, I didn't get a match. <laughs> I didn't think she'd looked. Okay. What else have we got? What, what else is there to do? Um, Go to the uh, game corner. Let's ride the bike so we can uh, get that phone call. Grab up the coin case. I'm not going to bother going for any of the... Uh, I probably won't do this just yet. Um, what what book does he have again? I know it's like... Yeah, Abra Ekans and Dratini. I, of, I do often get a Dratini here. Um, and then what t TMs do you have? Substitute sword stamps. Okay, nothing really that I need right now anyway. Held items, silk scarf, wired lens, zoom lens, much time. Okay, fair enough. Nothing I need at this very moment in time, but we might come back at a later point. Okay. Um, cool. So, I'm going to go down here next. Hi, Adam. You are just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here is the fashion case. Did you say you want it? I knew it. This is a present from me. I don't really care for this bit. <laughs> Keep accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going. See you. I think in uh, the Drayana ROM hack, she actually fights you there. Oh, I just... I just cut somebody off on the phone. Was it my mum again? No, it was Joey. It's all good. Really? Survive with like one HP. I need to remember when I get my next Pokemon to actually like change it from set mode to switch mode again. Grumble. The Pokemon just got a haircut. It doesn't make it stronger. It makes it more friendly with you. You got your Lickitung haircut? It's bold. It has no hair. Unless they are furry. I, I guess they could be furry. They don't look very furry. He looks shiny, like it's bald skin. Maybe it has peach fuzz. Maybe. But it's got like a shiny head. It's got light, light reflecting off of it. I'm not actually going to get my Pokemon a haircut just yet because I'll be getting an Eevee possibly today. Probably today. Um, so I might as well come and give it a haircut when I get it so that I can up its um, friendship straight away a little bit. So close to getting to level 30 already. We haven't, we haven't even done a third gym badge yet, and we're almost level 30.
Hello! Yeah, it's, it is just a regular playthrough. Just trying to complete all the Gen 4 games. But, how you doing? How are you today? I guess I have to talk to him. I like taking pictures whenever I can. However, this is a bit weird, because like, ha like half the Pokemon on my team aren't my team. Nice. Okay. You're okay? Good. Took the day off work. Nice. Because that Rattata and Togepi aren't actually on the team. That's an unfortunate choice of Pokemon for this fight. He probably has two of them as well. Yep. Let's go to the department store next. And uh, there's actually a the delivery man here. So we can pick up the items. Mom, mom, mom. A chatty berry. Is there anything else? No, okay, just the one. Oh, the eggs are hatching. Which one is it first? The Murray. Oh, no, I don't want anything to aim at. Take me to the basement. the customers then why am I allowed out you've been meaning to replay through Gen 4 Johto so much charm mm -hmm. they're my favorite games specifically soul silver but I've already played through soul silver so that's why I'm playing heart gold on the right, southwest of the elevator. Wait, oh, on the right, southwest. Okay, this one here. There we go. What? Small box. Oh, I thought I'd check that box. There we go. Okay, got all those items. Um, we're going to work our way up. Wait, how much money? I don't even know how much money I've got, to be honest. So I don't know whether I'm actually going to be able to buy anything in here. Oh, the next egg's hatching. It's the Wooper, which means Slugum is last. Ultra Balls? 
Probably going dodge balls to be honest. Excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Um, thank you. Let's see. We can sell these tiny mushrooms. Get a little bit of cash from them. attack okay I probably don't really need to buy anything at the moment because I've still got plenty of items let's get out of here we don't need to be in here right now I can actually see what I buy I could buy solar beam Oh wait, uh, we should go to the top though, because there's the um, daily corner, uh, daily draw cor drawing corner that we can do, and we could potentially win charge beam, a net ball, or a, or a berry. I guess the berries you can win on every day, like it's a random berry. just tell me the prizes you do the drawing okay what are we gonna win number two we got a netball okay that's not bad I just got a netball for 300 rather than 1000 I'll take it I can make profit from that I could sell that for 500 I'd rather keep the netball though. <laughs> Could be useful. Okay. Now, uh, I think. Uh, bargain shop? Huh. You can buy. Oh, wow, that's cool. On Monday mornings, very early in the morning, 4 a.m. to 9 uh, to 10 a.m., you can buy like items like a nugget, pearl, a big pearl, stardust, and star piece for less money than you can sell them for. So you can make profit just by buying and selling those items. That's cool. However, you can only buy one per week. So like per Monday, you can only buy one nugget, one pearl, one big pearl, one stardust, and one star piece. So you can only do like that once per week. But that's some decent money from them because you can buy a nugget for four four thousand five hundred, sell it for five thousand. That's cool. I like that. Um, let's see. Okay, so the next thing to do. Wait, let me just check here. Are there any items in this area? Uh, next thing is the gym. <laughs> Yo, champ in the making. This gym is home to the normal type to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. No. Also, did you know that the layout of this gym is a Clefairy? in the originals. I don't think it's a Clefairy in the remakes. I think it's just in the originals. Yeah, it's only in the originals, but it's a Clefairy. I just realized I didn't heal up. 
That's fine. We'll, we'll fight through the trainers and then we'll go heal afterwards. Bailey's level 30. I need a couple more levels and I've got a Meganium before like any other Pokemon on my team. I wonder if we'll get it. I wonder if we'll get Meganium before another Pokemon. That'd be funny. We fully evolve our starter before we get a second member of our team. Oh, I missed a person. Forgot about you over here. We just dropped a little frames there, sorry. Not sure what that was about. Oh, the final egg is hatching. It's a slugma. Oh, that's all the eggs hatched now then. Okay, once we beat this person here, we'll go heal up so we can have our uh, magical leaves back and then we'll, uh, we'll come back and take on Whitney and probably have no trouble against her because, you know, Bailey's level 30. <laughs> She's bought me another item again. Fine, we'll go pick that up as well. What have you got for me this time? It's a repel.
Third badge time. Let's do it. Let's get our third badge. I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. Do you want a battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Yeah, but are you good enough to beat me? And my level 30 Bayleaf? Probably. Oh my god, she's very excited. <laughs> Your Clefairy is level 17. That's not bad, not bad. See if it can actually survive a magical leaf though. It might be able to, to be fair. Yeah, it can. Can't do much back to me though. Really? Here it is, the infamous mill tank. Level 19 mill tank. Hey, hey, just one left, but I ain't losing. You hear? Okay, let's see how much one magical leaf does, and then decide whether we want to poison powder it or not. No. There's no point. Actually, there might be, because it'll have milk drink. This will help do a little bit of residual damage each turn. Oh, I forgot you have the Lumberry. Okay, whatever. But yeah, see what I mean? It has meal drink. So we can. It only gets one Lumberry, so we can poison it again. And then we should be good. Because even when it heals, we're doing a little bit of damage to it. That, however, I forgot about. But it's fine, because we've poisoned it. We're now going to be doing damage even if we're not hitting. Come on, Bayleaf. Thank you. Poor me. Yes, poor you. Come on, baby. Are you alright if I've got a, a female starter? You wouldn't have been able to do that. Wait, 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 wait. But we're not attacking, Bayleaf. How are you immobilized? We're healing ourselves. Why does it matter if you're in love? It, the mill tank just healed herself. Bayleaf, come on. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he is. That's better. No! <laughs> I can't really complain. I did just heal myself as well. Poison would have taken out there just then, probably as well. Thank 
Thank you, Bailey. I must have heard you, bud. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it was harder than I thought it was going to be, but that's because I forgot about Attract. Ugh. Where? Where? <laughs> you meanie. <laughs> oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Saw loser. What? What do you want? A badge? Oh right, I forgot. Here's the plain badge. Thanks. You've got three gym badges now. The plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. Attract. Thanks. It's attract. It makes full use. Makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? That's right. I heard that this thing called the Pokeathlon Dome is now open right next to the National Park. You should go try it, since you're a good, uh, so, since you're so good at battling with your Pokemon. Um, probably not. I'm probably not going to worry about the Pokeathlon Dome until I need something from it. Um, because you can get items and stuff from like getting the uh, like dome points. But I don't think I need anything from there just yet. Um, what we do need to do though is grab the um, squirt bottle. Apparently there's not a tree. Uh, wait, what? I missed what they said. They say it dances when you water it. Apparently there's not a tree on Route 36. Okay. Oh, that's the plane badge from Goldenrod Gym. Did you defeat Whitney? Well, then there's nothing to worry about, is there? I'll let you use this squirt bottle for a while then. Oh, never mind. Keep it. Thanks. Cool. Um, oh, I really, I need to remember what the mulch is. What, what mulch is good here? Um. There isn't a mulch that gives me more berries as not in this generation anyway. Um, how, I did look at this before, but I can't remember how long a berry takes to grow. Because I need a load of Auron berries for um, the mill tank. So I need to grow some more. I, can, I can't remember how long they take to grow. Berry will mature from the plant. planted seed to full grown fruit bearing in 16 hours with 4 hours per stage. An orange berry tree will yield 2 to 5 berries. Okay, 16 hours. So if I was to plant some today, I need to pick them up, pick them before the end of work tomorrow, which isn't really ideal. Because every hour after. Oh, wait. I need to go back and drop off a Pokemon. Every hour after they've fully grown, you lose a berry. So I kind of want them to... I think the best mulch I should could get, or should get, really is... Um, is the stable uh, mulch, so that I can pick them up, pick the berries once I finish work tomorrow. Oh no wait, there's something about Oh, there's something about the soil as well. Ugh. Maybe no, you know what I should do? The damp mulch. That's what I need to do. Because then it doesn't dry out as fast, because I won't be able to water it as much because I'm at work. Oh I, d I went back to the I went back to the Pokemon Center. I was too distracted that I just healed my Pokemon. Didn't need to heal. I just needed to drop off a Pokemon so I could pick up a different one. Gardening, such high maintenance. Yep. But I do want to be able to get the um, uh, Moomoo uh, Moo Moo Milk. So, oh, you know what I should do? I should move these. Uh, 
How do I do it? How do I make it so that I can grab multiple? I'm sure there's a way of grabbing multiple. We can drop off Dugby. Because then we can pick up the Spiro. Oh wait, I needed to <laughs> I needed to buy the mulch. Wait, can I even buy the mulch yet? No, okay, I'm going to have to come back to the mulch. Nope, but it will be cleared soon. No, I already beat the gym. I'm not going to the gym. Been there, done that. On to the next one. Bayleaf is also very close to evolving. I didn't really have the best of teams to face me. Wow. That's not very nice. Get you! is level 32. Let's learn Sweet Scent. I don't need Sweet Scent. Thank you. But we will take a Meganium. What? Bayleaf is evolving. We got a Meganium before we got any other Pokemon on the team.
Let's do it. <laughs> How soon until I get my second team member? Uh, well, if it was a Thursday, I could get one now. Um, however, once we get to Ecritique City, speak to Bill, come back to Goldenrod, we can pick up the Eevee, which is going to be the next member. And then we'll be able to get Cypher tomorrow during the bug catching contest. Dance on set uh, battle style mode thing is dangerous. <laughs> I, I can't stop myself. <laughs> I'm stuck into it. <laughs> Yeah, they do. It's because it was the, like, obviously the originals were the uh, first games where they had a, a day-night cycle. So they wanted to use it a lot. So there's only, the bug catching contest is only on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I have to wait till tomorrow to be able to, to do it, but it's fine. Oh dear. Come on, Ganyum, you got this. Thank you. Yeah, I also need to work out what, like, time of day, like, when it swaps over from day to night in this game as well. Exactly. Um, because... The Eevee is going to be an Espeon, so I need to, I need to check. I might need to evolve it before a stream because I, I don't know what time how Gold Soul Silver classes as night time. I can't remember if it's eight or nine. I can look it up though. Wait, this guy knows about the slowpoke being, like, tails cut off? Weird. I'm famous. Famous already. Okay, let's have a look now. Let's have a look at what this day-night cycle looks like. Um, so it is currently Wednesday night right now, but what time does it change to night? Day, what? Really? Day is 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely will have to evolve my EV off stream. Really? I got burned. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll, uh, um, once we have the EV, when we know it's going to evolve, so when it, like, evolve, tries to evolve into an Umbreon, obviously I'll cancel that evolution, and then the following day, like, after work, I'll evolve it into Espeon. 
off off stream. Both these two people tr exchanged phone numbers? Okay. <laughs> Seems a little bit much, but okay. It's fine. Nicely done, Meganium. Another Growlithe. We might not be able to take this one out in one hit because we've had double Intimidates. Oh, man, so close. Headbutt probably will kill this. I was thinking I still had tackle. My bad. Another phone number exchange? Wow, there's a lot of people who want my phone number on this route. Oh, sorry, Gina. <laughs> we got attacked by a hoo hoo. To be fair, Gina only calls to talk anyway. Didn't give me anything. Don't do that. Don't put me to sleep. That's better. What kind of Pokeballs do I use? Pokeballs. Well, Dusk Balls most of the time, to be fair. I'm running out of headbutts. Hm? 
this is like a better version of uh, um, Faulkner. Pidgey than Pidgeot. Ah, uh, Pidgeotto, sorry. Payback. Nice. Okay. Oops. Faithfully nibbling at the ground. Interesting. Oops. Got, got a bit stuck there. Oh, wait. We should probably jump back on the bike now. Okay. I'm just going to briefly pop into the PC here. Because we can heal up using this. Meganium is healed up. Oh, sorry, the bow catch contest. Oh, no, it is Saturday. I thought I misread it then. Hacks. Mm hmm. I'm just going to go this way briefly because um, I think there's a couple of items I can pick up over here. Maybe. Let me just, uh, Pokey, ah, long dome. I think there are a couple of items. Yes, there are. Hmm. I feel it. The twinkle in your eyes. The twinkle of friendship. You're ready to participate in the Pokethiathlon, bud. Most of all, your mutual trust and teamwork with Pokemon makes me believe anything is possible. Alright, follow me, bud. I like that he has a following Pokemon. What do you think? This is the Pokeathlon Dome. Nice. Pokeathlon is a sports festival for trainers and, and Pokemon. Inside the dome are various challenges awaiting trainers and Pokemon to test their friendship. Why don't you try it out? Or try it. Sorry, there was no out there. You're amazing, bud. This is a pleasant surprise. To see to see a po poke athlete with strong potential is such a pleasure. I'm glad I held the poke athlon here in Johto. My name is Magnus. We shall meet again, bud. See you, young poke athlete. He says bud a lot. <laughs> PP up. Um, wait, is this the is this the camera guy? It is. Camera and the camera the photographer. Come in, Meganium. Let's get a picture. Ignore all the Pokemon in the back. They're not mine. <laughs> That's not my team. Okay, so there should be a protein there. We can get the Apri, Apri Blender. You can get three rare candies from doing the... Uh, um, from actually doing the Pokeathlon stuff. If you uh, dash a thousand times, jump a thousand times, and tackle 2,000 times you can get a uh, um, a rare candy for each of those okay I'm only doing this just to get the uh, the jersey I'm not actually I'm not actually gonna be doing one Um, this is kind of the best place to come for um, getting evolution stones. Uh, oh, the bike shop. Oh, hey, this is the bike shop. 
I've been selling a lot of bikes lately. It's because you've been riding around on that bike, bike advertising for me. I was wondering how best to thank you, and I thought I'd just give you that bicycle you're riding around. It's yours. Thanks so much. Thank you. But yeah, before you can get, like, well, you can get all of the um, evolution stones. Once you get to Celadon, you can buy some of them there as well. But um, this is a way of getting other ones, like the shiny stone and the dawn stone and stuff like that. It's the um, doing the Pokeathlon thing. Okay. Back to the National Park, though. Let's pick up the items around here. Like this. This is the Quick Claw. You're working on Lance now? Thank you. Okay, there are a few trainers. Oh, there's Cameron there as well. Um, but there's a few trainers here. So we'll fight these guys. Sure. Nice. That looks cool. I like it. Mm-hmm. We got Cameron again. Let's take another picture. We only just took one, but we'll take another one. Different background this time. Poor little Cubone. It's not gonna like getting hit by this pe uh, petal dance. What? You just tried to learn Sweet Scent before. No, stop. We don't need it. Leave me alone. Another phone number? So many phone numbers. Oh, I missed an item. Oh my god, he has a right here. Luckily for me, Meganium is very strong right now. <laughs> very much overleveled. But that's fine. Oops, no, that's the tree. Turn and get the item. Got dig. Gaining him solo? Looks like it. Wait, what? Behind the fence, near the south gate. How do I get to the behind the fence by the south gate? What? How do I do that? 
Also, my mom just called, so that means I can. Uh... No, that's the east gate. That's the sooth valve. Which is good, because it means we can give that to Eevee as soon as we, as soon as we get Eevee. Well, uh, to be fair, I'm going to be giving it the lucky egg, but whatever. I think this is the last trainer. This is behind the fence near the south gate. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and work it out together. We'll have a look in a sec. But yeah, it is a Meganium solo carry at the moment. <laughs> but not for long. It's almost it's almost time for another Pokemon to find the team. By the end of this stream we will have a second Pokemon on the team. And then Tomorrow's stream, we'll get another one. We'll triple the amount of Pokemon we've got on our team very quickly. Another phone number? There's like three out of the four trainers in this like area just gave me their phone numbers. Let's have a look here. How do we get behind? It's behind the fence. Like, how do you get behind the fence around here, though? Oh. Huh. Near the small fountain in the south. Where, though? <laughs> Which side of the fountain? There it is. <laughs> But it says behind the fence near the south gate. So that's got to be like around here somewhere, but I can't get through the gate, uh, through the fences around here. There's no way through the fence. Oh well. Never mind, it's only a full heal. Not oh, the end of the world. Come on then, Abra. Bring it on. Get Abra too? The defenses are so low, like using headbutts, it's kind of easily one shot them all. And then another Abra. And that should get us level 35 already. <laughs> when I pick up this EV and when I get Scyther, they're going to be so behind in levels that we're not going to be using Meganium very much. might actually be level 20 when I get it, so that's not too bad. If I remember correctly. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like level 20 when you get it. It's another phone number. He gives you items, to be fair. He's, I think he might even give you the uh, Firestone occasionally.
I'm the flower shop's floor, uh, Floria. Floria? Listen, listen. When I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. If you soaked it... Oh, that's the squirt bottle. Soak the tree for me. I want to see what happens. Will do. However, I'm going to save first because I want to catch it <laughs> for my decks. And uh, don't want to kill it because then I can't catch it. It's an odd tree. Use a square bottle? Sure. The odd tree doesn't like the square bottle. The odd tree attacked. Oh man. It's a Sudawoodo. gonna make my head butt. If we can get some flinches that would be great. There we go. Okay, one more should do it. Oh another flinch. Okay, maybe we'll up the Pokeball I'm using to a Great Ball. Because it doesn't seem to want to stay in a Pokeball. Or a Great Ball. Maybe I'll throw my Ultra Ball. My one and only Ultra Ball. Hey, that's my move. That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. The berry pots. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right, I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do any good without berries. Perfect, now I can grow some orange berries. Or some veggie berries, but we want the orange berries. You have to plant berries in the soil. You should water them from time to time. Then they'll gr uh, grow. I have to go back to Goldenrod. Are you heading to Ecritique? Then you should go north here. See you around. Um, I'm actually going to go to uh, Violet City first. Because there is um, that guy that I need to drop this Spearow off with. And I might as well heal up on the way past as well. We'll pick the apricorn while I'm here as well. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Gotta pick the Pokemon I want to give him. Thank you for your mail. 
It was such an exciting adventure. I did not like Zub like Zubat though. That's what it says. Uh, I think that's rest. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, now if I talk to the guy I gave got the Spearow from, I think I get something from him as well. Hey, look, a spin rack. Let's not kill it this time. Let's actually catch this one. It's been a while. A long time waiting for this spin rack. Maybe I should get off my bike. <laughs> okay, now we can get back on the bike. <laughs> While we're passing by, might as well pick up the apricorn so we can get a load of um, pokeballs from Kurt by doing this. north of the large patch of grass. Oh, wait, what? Oops. My mother is calling me again. Oh, well. There's no point actually, like, answering the phone to her, because you still get the item whether you answer the phone or not. One of these trees has got an item on it. There it is. <laughs> we found it. Of course I ran into a Pokemon as well though. It's a Growler! Okay, I do want to pick up the Eevee today, but that will probably be the last thing we do today, is pick up the Eevee and go give it a haircut. Because that way I can definitely get the haircut done today and tomorrow. Because that way we can get the Espeon um, quicker if we do haircuts as much as possible. need to remember to give it the Soothe Bell while I do it as well, so it doubles it up. I might... I might um, leave the... Soothe Bell on Eevee, even while we're like using it as the uh, starting Pokemon, like the, the front Pokemon. Normally I'd change it to the Lucky Egg, but I want to try and get Espeon as quickly as possible. So we'll just leave the Soothe Bell on it until until it evolves. Then we can swap it over to the uh, Lucky Egg if it's up out the front of the party. But you actually turned the fight. Okay. Nicely done, Meganium. Hi, the Nightwing. 
How are you doing today? Get another double rifle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has been. How have you been? Okay, we got we got our level. Thank you for the host. My alerts aren't lining up properly. That should be fine. Good. Poor this poor little Mareep. I've sent out a level. You're really happy? Awesome. I've sent out a little level 1 Mareep into this fight. I feel really bad for it. <laughs> it's going to gain, gain some levels, though. <laughs> Quite a few levels. No! Why would you do that? Oh, it survived! Ha! Take this! <laughs> You got Twitch affiliate? Awesome! Congrats! The Mareep survived! Oh, I got paralyzed though. I'm surprised the... That's twice I've gone into a double battle where I've expected my partner Pokemon to just get taken out, but they've survived both times. Your parents don't think that Twitch affiliate's good? Why not? Saying it'll take all your money? Awesome. Oh, no. It definitely doesn't. It's good. I assume it's because you have to attach a bank account to it for, to, for you to be able to collect the money. But, yeah. I, I, I can understand why somebody who doesn't really know the website that well would think that it was a scam. I do understand that. Come on then, let's see if the Mareep can survive this one. It probably can't, it's probably gonna go down this time. This Mareep might actually evolve in this way. Could reassure them that Amazon owns it if they use Amazon. True. Oh wow, Mareep's actually gonna survive because it didn't attack. A lot of people are more familiar with Amazon than Twitch. Yeah. But you know, it won't because. For your bank details. I mean, it will ask for your bank details if you want to actually collect money from it. It needs to attach to a uh, bank account at some point. No, Marie, no! Survive! No! Poor Marie. Let's send in another level 1 Pokemon. Whooper, your turn. <laughs> Come on, Meganium. Get through it and then... Oh, never mind. Well, Whooper's probably going to go down here. Oh no, it attacked Meganium. We're all good. going to gain a load of experience. But to have a debit card, you need a bank account. You can't have a card without an account. Because otherwise, where does it get the money from?
The only time you can like do it like that is if it's a credit card, I think. Even then you'd have an account. I guess you wouldn't necessarily have an account, but um, like money that can't money can't go into a credit card account. But to have a debit card, you will have to have a bank account of some sort for it to store the money. Okay, here's Bill. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Adam, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Annette, from Hoenn, made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye Oh, it's connected to the dad's account. So you... Okay. Okay, we're gonna head back to Goldenrod ourselves in one moment. I just want to pick up the um, the item finder thingy quickly as well. Um, the dowsing machine from the man in the house next to the gym. Okay, that would be this one. Because if I have this, I can go find where that um, hidden uh, full full heal is when I go to the uh, uh, National Park. Make finding the hidden items a lot easier, especially as I like the... Uh, I like this dowsing machine. It's a good one. It's a good dowsing machine. Okay, let's head back to Goldenrod, pick up our Eevee, go give it a haircut, and plant my berries. And then that's where we will end it for today. Oh, I'll talk to the uh, the uh, gate person on the way past as well. I'm pretty sure he gives me something for uh, delivering that Spearow. I need space in my party to pick up the EV, so let's drop somebody off. Um, we're just going to deposit this spinner rack. Hi Adam, would you do something for me and take this EV? It came over when I was adjusting the adjusting Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it, Adam? Yes. I knew you'd come through. You're the real deal. Way to go. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. Cool, we got the EV. We don't need to do it. Professor Elm said Eevee can evolve into seven different kinds of Pokemon. Um, he's wrong. It can evolve into eight. Okay, so let me... Let me give it the Soothe Bell. Oh my god, it's level five. I thought it was going to be level 20. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. It's very much behind in levels. Switch training is going to be required. Look, it's an Eevee following me now. <laughs> I've finally got a different Pokemon. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Eevee. I, oh, I don't know whether it's male or female. There is a different... Oh, you can't actually see the difference, to be fair. It's male. I've got the male one on, anyway. 
but the difference is its tail. But I also don't like know if that's accurate in this game or not. Because when I looked at its sprites to try and figure out, it didn't show a difference. Wait, we should probably check it out anyway. It's calm, which is... That's not bad, actually. That's not bad, to be fair, for um, an Espeon. Because um, we're a special attacker, so the attack being down doesn't matter. And having extra defense is never a bad thing. So I'll take that. Okay. We want, oh my god, I've got 19 grand. Yes, give me a haircut. Uh, we want to give Evie a haircut of its friend, uh, happiness kind of friendship thing, whatever it is. Okay, and then we just need to go buy some mulch and then plant the berries and then we're good to end for today. And we said we wanted the damp mulch so that we could... Um, so I don't have to water them as much. Uh, I want some damp mulch. I think I only need one, which will do all four of the pots, I think. We'll find out, I guess. Use this. We want to fertilize with the damp mulch. Oh, wait, I need... Okay, never mind. You do have to buy it for each one. I need three more mulch. I can only buy one at a time? Come on, really? Two. One more. Okay. They're all planted. Uh, they're all fertilized, sorry. We want to plant the four orange berries that I have. And then by the end of work tomorrow, I should have 20 orange berries, which is good. Because that will mean that I will have enough to give to the mill tank to heal it and be able to get Moomin milk. Okay, now let's get... No, actually, I want to stay over here, don't I? Because I... the first thing I want to do tomorrow is actually do the hair... Get, uh, give my Eevee a hair cut again. So we'll, we'll wait here and go in there tomorrow on tomorrow's stream. But anyway, we are going to be ending it here for today. Um, so it's been fun. We did two gyms today. We got our uh, second and third gym badges, and we got all the way to Equity City as well. Um, and uh, we finally got a second member of our team. So uh, it's been a productive, productive today productive today productive day and um we'll be back onto this again tomorrow at 8 p.m uk time um and like i say we'll be doing a haircut uh picking some berries catching another pokemon and doing the fourth gym badge as well which would be cool um so that's all gonna happen tomorrow um but anyway thank you all for being here i hope you've enjoyed it's been fun so uh thank you again for being here and i shall see you in another stream thanks again and goodbye <laughs>